We are about to test the best Latafa fragrances on TikTok shop to find out if lots of views and orders actually means a product is good. Now, when you go on TikTok, you obviously have your For You page and mine is flooded with Latafa fragrance reviews like this one here. So needless to say, we got to put these to the test and see what the hype is all about. So let's dive in. All right, so we got these all unboxed and there's actually a problem and I'll explain it in just a bit. Starting with 297 orders, we have Kaid Alpherson. I paid $40 for this fragrance and at an average rating of 4.6, then I think we might be onto something. The description states that this one is a unisex aromatic fragrance. And if you're new to fragrances, then aromatic is simply something that has an herbal feel to it. So think thyme, sage, or mint. But what we really care about is what it smells like. And there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Right now I'm getting something that is almost like a mashup of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Aventus. This one doesn't have a super strong pineapple feel, but it does have that kind of, damn, is it amber? Or cotton candy? Cotton candy, sweet as gold, lemons in a Dixie roll. <laughs> At any rate, it's fresh, but it also has this cozy piece to it. I like it. On first spray, this one smells like something that I would wear. I could wear this one to the office, out and about, casually. This is a solid scent. Really think about it. Baccarat Rouge 540 is dope. Aventus is amazing. And when you combine those two together, you just get something that's legendary. Moving up with 543 orders, we have the same fragrance. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. When I ordered these two fragrances, one was supposed to be a brown bottle and the other one's supposed to be a black bottle and this one had more orders but they sent me the exact same thing but in addition to that I actually paid $70 for this one versus $40 for this one so that's a ripoff in itself now I'm not going to go through here and re-smell this fragrance and tell you what I get from it but I'll tell you what this one was supposed to smell like now when I purchased this one it was supposed to have 4.7 stars on 80 reviews which is pretty good and since ordering this one it has now sold out but it was probably sold out when it sold it to me now the the note breakdown for this one is supposed to be jasmine pineapple oud wood and amber and based upon what i said this one smelled like which is the same thing <laughs> then it's likely was always the same thing but remember that I have two of these bottles. Next up, we have Latafa Kamra, and this one had 725 orders. And out of the fragrance or fragrances we've mentioned so far, a lot of you reached out to me to review this one. And just by the sheer number of times I've seen this one in the comments, or you reaching out, I would have thought that this one had more orders than it actually did. Now, from my understanding, Kamra is a clone of Killian's Angel Share, which happens to be one of my favorite releases from the house. And if you're looking for Angel Share, be sure to holler at my friends over at Max aroma.com for some of the best pricing on a lot of the niche and luxury fragrances that are out there that people are making clones of. I paid $48 for this one and I know a few places where it's slightly cheaper but if it's as good as everyone says it is then it's a great buy because this is like 10 times less expensive than a full bottle of Killian's Angel Share. Out of the 725 orders this one had an average rating of 4.8 stars so I'm extremely excited to get this one to try. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh that's good. Listen, I am a Killian fan. I'm a huge fan of Angel Share and this is not Angel Share. At least not yet. This is like a friend of an angel. <laughs> oh this is good though. This is good. There's like honey in this and it's it's crazy because it's slightly more boozy than you get in Angel Share, but I like it. It almost has this, not almost, it has this caramel approach, maybe even toffee. This is good, but it's not Angel Share. <laughs> in fact, I would say that this one would stand on its own. I really do like this one. Fall, winter, this one's worth the buy. Now, I'm not sure how long this one lasts, but on first spray, oh yeah, this thing is dope. Let's put this on right now. Don't walk, run. You got to pick this one up. And speaking of picking one up, I actually picked up two of each of these fragrances. One for me, 
and one for you. But we'll talk more about how you can win these fragrances later on. Yeah. Another one. Next up, we have Assad. Shout out to DJ Khaled. And this one received over 900 orders. Now, at a price of only $40 and an average rating of 4.7 stars, this is another one I'm excited to try. We the best. So, off the rip, I'm getting Dior Sauvage Elixir. That's what it's giving. <laughs> it smells bold, it's fresh, but it's also rich and aggressive. I know it's only first spray on the presentation, but this one also smells like it's powerful and it will be long lasting. There's also a subtle creaminess in the backbone. I like it, but let's see what the description has to say. Now the description states that this is a vanilla fragrance that opens with unique notes and is the best answer to other clones. Does this officially mean we're having a clone war? Looking at the note breakdown, I don't see anything that's rare or unique here. It all seems pretty basic. We get some pineapple, you get iris, amber, and vanilla, just to name a few. But maybe they mean it's a unique use of the notes. But then again, if it's a clone, how unique can it be? Next, we have Latafa Fakar. Fucker? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> don't judge me. At over 1,000 bottles sold, this is the best-selling fragrance on the TikTok shop. Is it TikTok shop or the TikTok shop? TikTok, TikTok shop, TikTok, 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 TikTok you don't stop. I'm a tickle with TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> that said, despite being the best-selling Latafa fragrance on TikTok, it's the worst-rated fragrance we've seen so far. And at an average rating of 4.5 stars, I'm less excited to try this one. Don't get me wrong, 4.5 stars isn't bad, but it's the lowest. I also paid $60 for this fragrance and it's described as nothing. Like literally the description is blank. So let's see what you got, fucker. Mm. Okay. This reminds me of something I immediately know, which is YSL's Y. Specifically like YEDP or EDT. <laughs> it's the Y lineup. I don't know. Look, look at that. It's doing the back <laughs> touch your toes. <laughs> we seen this before. Comment below if you've seen this. Like, let me know down below what video. This reminds me of YSL, Y, EDT, or Auto Parfum. They're all really within the same vein. But I'm not sure why you would pay sixty dollars for this when you can get YSL Y for like seventy or eighty bucks. I mean, I guess. But this is not bad. It doesn't have that same metallic -y feel that you get within the YSL Y line, but it's not bad. Personally, I would wear this fragrance almost anywhere, like most of these. If I had to rank these fragrances from four to one, <laughs> since I don't have five, we would go four, three, two, one. This is the winner winner chicken dinner. See you later. Fucker. <laughs> now for the fun part. As I mentioned, I'm giving all of these fragrances away to one of you so you can have your own Latafa haul from TikTok shop. Plus, since they lied to me, I'm gonna do a standalone giveaway for, for the double up. So there'll be two winners, a runner up and then a real winner. I'm just joking, we're all winners here. To enter the rules are simple, just drop a comment down below letting me know what fragrances from TikTok shop you wanna see me try next. So yeah, man, these are dope. The room smells amazing. I smell amazing. Unlike when I bought $400 worth of fragrance from Timu, click here to see that one next.